Hi guys, it's your girl Shante coming to you to do a quick video on daycare 101. Um, what I'll be talking about today is um, what to expect or things to do um, to make it an easy transition to place your child in daycare. Um, my daughter has now been in daycare for about three months. Um, she just turned six months last Sunday on the 12th and um, she is definitely um, her doctor definitely says that she is very advanced for her age and that it's partly due to her being in daycare and um, her learning to be very to be very independent so that's a good thing for daycare um, of course whenever you are searching for daycares of course you will have reservations because you are the only person who knows your child better than yourself so of course you want to be able to stay home, raise your child by yourself like they did in the olden age of a uh, little house on the prairie age or whatever. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately, we live in a day and age sometimes where, you know, we as mothers, we have to work to be able to provide for our children. Therefore, that's where daycare comes into play. So definitely do your research on the different daycare centers in your area. It's good to have referrals from people that you may or may not know. Um, you can definitely research some information on care.com um, or nannies.com, I think. And, uh, I think they have a mommypedia, mommypedia.com. I'm not sure. It's, it was like a lot of websites that I looked on myself. But, um, yeah, just do, do a lot of research on, on different daycare centers. Um, after you've done your research, go ahead and contact um, which daycare centers you think will be best for your child. Um, make sure that you ask a lot of questions. Um, just treat it as though you did whenever you found out she was pregnant the first time and you wanted to ask the doctor a million questions or what if I do this or what if he does, what if the baby does this and what will happen if this happens and you know things like that. Make sure that you take a long or make a list of questions because I know I had about two pages worth of questions front and back. Um, but I mean, it's all for your ease of mind. Um, it, it's good for the for the baby, and it's you know it's good for your family because um, sometimes if if you're in a if you're in a place where you don't have much family to be able to help you, um, it's good to for your family to know that you know that your child is being taken care of properly, and nobody has to go to jail. So yeah. Anyway, so what, um, another thing that you'll want to do in preparing um, to put your child in daycare, um, if many of you follow um, my videos, of course, I did experience separation anxiety the day before um, I put Reagan in daycare. Um, and that's just basically because I had never been apart from her um, from the time she was conceived and when I found out I was pregnant all the way up until the time she was born up until that very moment it's like I was terrified I'm not gonna joke I'm not gonna lie um, all my, it's natural for a mother to go through that because it's like you you don't want anything to have you just want to be able to protect your child um, from everything um, but you know being in daycare is, is good for them especially at a young age because they they're you know their minds are absorbing so much um, that you know it's good for them to go ahead and, and meet different people it's just like you as an adult getting out to you know mingle um, with people your age especially if you if you move to a new city hey get out meet people be sociable be nice learn people's skills you have people's skills to watch YouTube and do YouTube videos so hey there's nothing wrong with that same as babies they go to the daycare they meet other little babies and if they're with older babies, they want to do what the older babies do. And which is my case in point of what I'm dealing with right now. I have a six month old that wants to walk. So, you know, if she sees everybody else doing she feels like she can do the same thing. So which is always good for me because at least I don't have to I wouldn't once she does start walking I don't have to carry her as much. So yeah. But anyway, um also, whenever, make sure the place, wherever you pick, make sure that everybody's certified um, and they have their license and their proper training to be able to handle, um, whether it's your, your own child or a special needs child, make sure that they have the proper certification for that. 
um, what I did um, was, oh, make sure that you do take the baby shot records. Uh, make sure you have the baby's doctor's information. Um, so, and make sure that you provide them with a hospital that's um, in the event that something happens, that a place that would be good to take the baby to just in case something does happen while you're at work or at school. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, so I'm trying to figure out what movie this is that's coming on TV. But anyway, um, so yeah. Um, oh, this movie coming on again. Okay, so, um, yeah, so make sure that you do have all of that information. Make sure that you do have emergency contacts um, just in case something happens or not happens and they try to get a hold of you. Um, or if they can't, then they'll have someone else that they can contact um, to be able to try to come and get the baby. Um, it's and, and of course, if you don't have an emergency contact, um, make sure that you have a good relationship with your manager um, so that they can, you know, you'll have all of that situation worked out and then you don't have to worry about if something does happen and you have to take your child, that you still will have your child when you come back the next day or the next few days or yeah so um yeah so make sure that you do do that um one thing that i did because i am very uh, again like if you follow my videos you know that i'm a germaphobe and i just don't like um nasty things um i don't like for other people to use my baby's stuff um so i i made my own very personal chart of what I've taken to the daycare and I they would also supply me with a daily log of what she does every day um, how, what, what they're feeding her, how much they're feeding her, what time they fed her, who fed her, um, what time she slept, um, who put her to sleep, um, what time she got changed, um, what time you know how they apply the if she needed to put because I never wanted my daughter to have diaper rash so if you if your child has never had diaper rash make sure that you do send Vaseline or Desitin or Boudreaux's butt paste make sure that you do send that to the daycare because a lot of times most daycares especially if they have a lot of babies and but they don't have a lot of workers sometimes they'll be so backed up is you know, I mean, I'm not making an excuse because I did get upset because one day Reagan was a little red on the bottom and I know that it wasn't my deal because she didn't have a rash when I sent her off that morning. So, um, make sure that you do provide them with, with exact instructions that, hey, make sure that you put this stuff on my child's bottom, um, uh, make sure that you log it and, um, so there won't be any problem. Make sure that you also have a very good relationship with your child's caregiver. Um, it, it just makes everything better for everyone because you, you'll, as time progresses, you'll start to feel comfortable um, with leaving your child with that person. Whether it's a private sitter, it's an actual daycare, or, you know, maybe it can be a relative. Just as long as you have that type of relationship with that person, it'll make your day um, go a lot better. Um, at the daycare that Reagan is in, they supply you with a, this is a baby log, and it basically just has her, um, feeding schedule here, her napping schedule here, and her diapering, um, schedule here. So, of course, in this section, you have where, um, the, um, the caregivers or whoever is working at the time, they initial right here, and, um, and they would just select, or at least I would select, um, what type of food or whatever it is that I sent for the day. So each day was, I mean, it, well, this is just for one day. So I will put this formula, formula, formula. Um, on these little panels, it says formula, juice, water, milk, or breast milk. So, of course, I stopped breastfeeding a long time ago. But anyway, so it shows the times right here, what time she ate. And this is from the beginning until whatever the last time she ate before I picked her up. Um, the napping, the same thing over here is uh, whatever time she went to sleep to the time she woke up, so on and so forth. 
and the diapering also um, it has the time whether it's wet, dry, or bowel movement. Um, and down here it just says your child needs the following items and they may put on there whether it's wipes, um, Vaseline or whatever. Um, and if your child is sick, um, because I know it's a couple of times that I did have to take the baby or gel um, and leave it at the actual daycare and they would um, they have a sheet of where they would sign off on the information on when they would administer that to her um, and they always had to have a witness for it. Definite plus, I really like that. Um, and if, um, let's see. Oh, another thing that's very important. Make sure that you label all of anything that you send to the daycare. Make sure that you label it and that you have your child's name on it. It's very important because you don't want to go pick up your bottles and you have four bottles when you sent six and you have four bottles but you come back with two tops. Who's sitting tops? So, for Reagan, smaller bottles, um, I put her name on it. And since there's two Reagans, they give her a number. So she's number 27. So these are on her small bottles. On her big bottles, um, it has Reagan Smith. Number 27 is at the top. And so, of course, they, I sent two different bottles. So, of course, this is the pink one. This is the white one. So, this that means for short and for tall. Um, and I also label her bottles as well. Um, this is Reagan Smith, number 27 on that also, because I don't want anybody to be drinking my baby milk. Um, the cereal is also labeled. I, I just like use regular tape for that. Um, if I did decide to send it, um, which I usually won't because I don't want them to give it to anybody else. Um, and the baby food, I did get the baby bullet. So I make a lot of her food um, on Sundays or Mondays uh, while I cook my own dinner. And I just send it to the daycare and they just give it to her, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, like I said, it's definitely important to make sure that you label everything. Make sure that you send two of everything, um, just so that you don't ever run out. Um, make sure that you send, like I said, the Desident, Boudreaux, Vaseline, um, wipes, um, anything that you feel like your child may need. Um, I, Rain always kept three pacifiers. I kept one in her bag, um, two in her little bin, just in case, you know, one fell down or she lost one or something happened to her. If I forgot it before we left out of the house, you know, she has a choice of three. Um, make sure that when the um, caregivers are changing your child, make sure that they use gloves. Um, I don't, I just don't, I really don't like another person touching my child's bottom, but, you know, just make sure that they use gloves when they do that because you never know people would have fingernails and stuff, germs. Yeah. But, um... I can't think of anything else, but just, you know, the first few days are the hardest days. You're going to experience that, um, sending, put, putting the child in daycare, you'll experience it, um, putting them in preschool, you'll experience it, putting them in kindergarten, you'll experience it, middle school, junior high, high school, and off to college, you'll always revert back to the very first day of daycare. So just breathe, relax. Um, I mean, I'm not, I don't know who all is very religious or anything, but I know that I am. So I basically, I pray over my child each morning to make sure that, you know, she's being protected all day long, um, which is also a better ease for me to have a better day at work. You go to work, have a good day, get off, come home, go pick up your child and your child is actually excited to see you because I just get so excited when I can see my daughter and my pick her up for the day. Um, but that's all that I have on that. If anybody, again, has any questions about anything, make sure that you leave me a comment on the drop box below. Um, you can rather inbox me if you have any questions. Other than that, it was a pleasure. And this is everybody. Bye.